is Caitlin Moffitt, I'm a biomedical engineering student at the University of Arizona. This project is sponsored by Honeywell and is called Repurposing Exhaled CO2 for Spacecraft. Currently, aboard the International Space Station and manned spaceflight, astronauts are breathing out carbon dioxide. This is converted into methane and water. And while the water can be reused, the methane is being vented overboard as a waste product. So Honeywell developed the methane pyrolysis reactor. This converts the methane into hydrogen gas and carbon. The hydrogen gas can be reused in the Sabatier reactor, but the carbon doesn't have an application. So my team was tasked with developing a function for the mission using the carbon. We can change the scaffolding that it adheres to, which changes the shape. So using that, we could develop sample housing. This makes use of the astronauts' clothes to create a fold-up design. Astronauts do not wash their clothes. They wear them for two weeks because using water to wash them is wasteful. This sample housing is beneficial because it will save NASA approximately $118.8 million based on the $300,000 per kilogram launch cost because NASA will not need to send sample housing when they launch as it will be produced in transit by the astronaut's breath using the methane pyrolysis reactor. So by making use of their clothes, a low outgassing adhesive, and the carbon produced from the astronaut's breath, we can create sample housing, seen over in figure four on the right. My team developed a collapsible and size custom housing. Uh, it has mitered panel configuration, and it's a successful design of a fabric stencil that can be made into collapsible sample housing. In the future, we hope to test this in microgravity, develop an alternative housing design using a screw and bolt method rather than the low outgassing adhesive, embroidering the stencil into crew shirts before launch, and identifying and scaling sample housing to mission needs. Thank you.